Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create your very own magical aquarium scene. If you're new to my channel, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to check out my other videos. I have so many super fun art tutorials on this channel. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil and draw a large fishbowl or aquarium. I'm going to start by drawing a long, narrow oval at the top of my paper. Once I've drawn this oval, I'm going to go back and draw a second oval right inside the first oval. This is the opening of the fishbowl. Now, directly below this oval and at the bottom of my paper, I'm drawing a straight line. Starting at the opening, I'm drawing a curved line that connects with this bottom line. This is a round fishbowl, so that's why this line is curved. Inside my fishbowl, I'm adding the seafloor equivalent of a horizon line by drawing a straight line across the length of the bowl. I'm also adding a wavy water line at the top. Now I'm done drawing the basic shape of the fishbowl and I get to start adding fun details. I'm drawing an underwater castle with two towers. I'm adding an old sunken ship sticking out of the sand. I'm putting a giant rock behind my sunken ship. And I thought it would be fun to have a volcano rising up from the seafloor. See how I'm placing this volcano in the background behind the castle? Now it's time to add some seaweed. I like to draw seaweed that looks like long wavy blades of grass. Sometimes I draw seaweed that's attached to a rock like you see here. I'm drawing another type of sea plant by starting with a curved line and then filling it in with ellipse shaped leaves. See how the leaves get smaller as they move towards the top? It kind of looks like a fern. I'm going to add a mermaid sitting on this rock. I'm starting with an oval shape for the upper part of the tail, then drawing a skinnier oval for the upper body. Now I'm adding a neck and U shape for the face and adding some shoulders and arms. I'm drawing two large ellipse shapes for the fluke of the tail and using a curved line to connect the tail fluke with the base of the tail. Now I can go back and erase the lines I no longer need and add a few finishing touch details. I'm adding seashells for the bikini top, some simple features for the face, and some long flowing hair. Next, I'm adding a sunken treasure chest. Starting with a wavy line in the sand, I'm going to draw the treasure chest right on top of this wavy line, starting with a short straight line coming up out of the middle, the two lines that slant down on either side, and then connecting each of these lines to the base. I'm adding a frame inside each of these two boxes to make it look more decorative. I'm using a curved line to draw the lid of the chest and finishing the lid with a couple other simple lines. I'm also adding a frame inside the lid because it looks more ornate. And finally, I'm filling my treasure box with gold and jewels that will spill out onto the sand. I'm drawing a cute hermit crab right at the entrance to the castle. I'm also adding a starfish in the sand. I start with a five point star and then erase the lines inside the star. Then I round the points of my star. I'm drawing a super cute octopus next to the sunken ship. I start with a circle for the head, then I add a couple curling tentacles on either side. Then a couple large eyes and a smile. I'm filling in with some large stones that will be scattered around the sea floor. I'm drawing a submarine in the background behind the mermaid. To do this, I draw a sideways teardrop. Then I add a propeller in the back and a couple rudders. You can divide your submarine into segments and then add some windows. Don't forget to draw a spy hole coming up out of the water. 
I'm drawing some steam coming up out of the volcano. I'm adding a large goldfish in front of the volcano and an eel over on the right. I'm also drawing an angelfish and a super kawaii squid. I'm adding a clownfish that looks a bit like Dory from Finding Nemo. I'm also adding a tiny school of fish in front of the volcano. I'm drawing a couple very simple jellyfish and a cute sea turtle. To make the creatures in my aquarium appear more lifelike, I'm drawing some air bubbles rising up through the water. Once you're done drawing, you're ready to add color. Fish bowls are often filled with colorful gravel, so I'm starting with a pink base and then using my colored pencil to fill in with colorful polka dots. I'm adding some bright yellow and orange to my goldfish. I like to use an ultra thin Sharpie to color in the eye. My angelfish is going to have pink and yellow stripes. You can color in your sea creatures however you like. If you're going to use watercolor paint in your background, I suggest first filling in your air bubbles using a white crayon. That way the bubbles will stay white even after you paint over them with watercolor paint. I'm using two contrasting shades of green to fill in the seaweed, a dark green and a light green. I thought it would be fun to give the mermaid a really colorful tail, so I'm blending pink, purple, blue, and green. I'm filling in the water using a very light blue color, then adding some darker blue on the top and the bottom. I want to make the images in my drawing really pop, so I'm grabbing an ultra-fine Sharpie and outlining each of the objects in my picture. Okay, one more time. Look at what a huge difference that makes when you outline with the ultra-fine Sharpie. Finally, I'm using an ultra-fine Sharpie to outline the fishbowl. Once you're all finished outlining with the Sharpie, don't forget to erase your pencil marks. I hope you love how your fishbowl turns out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Rainbow Parrot Art, and be sure to check out my other videos.